Hi, I'm Dr. Todd Cooperman, president of ConsumerLab.com. I'm going to talk to you about red yeast rice, um, which is a very powerful or can be a very powerful supplement if you choose the right brand um, for lowering cholesterol. Um, ConsumerLab has recently tested uh, these various uh, popular red yeast rice supplements uh, and I've just published a report online uh, showing the results for these products. And I want to talk to you a little bit about what we found um, and about red yeast rice as well. Um, red yeast rice contains naturally um, a compound known as lovastatin, uh, which can dramatically lower cholesterol levels. Clinical trials, good studies, actually have shown red yeast rice um, to lower cholesterol by approximately 18% in terms of total cholesterol and LDL, kind of bad cholesterol, by about 23%. And if you're combining that with uh, uh, an improvement in your diet, a Mediterranean diet, etc., I mean, you can lower your LDL cholesterol by about over 40% through a combination of diet and uh, red yeast rice. However, the problem with red yeast rice is that um, the products themselves are not allowed really to tell you how much lovastatin is in them, which is this naturally occurring uh, statin uh, compound, also known as monocolon K or monocolon KA. And as we recently found, um, many of these products really don't have enough lovastatin in them to lower your cholesterol significantly. Others, however, do. Um, and what we actually found in testing them is that in a two capsule dose, and all of these actually come in capsules, one of them comes as a tablet, um, but a two capsule dose, and a, uh, basically that will contain about 1200 milligrams of red yeast rice, and here's an example of what that looks like uh, on a label. So you can see there, uh, uh, red yeast rice in the supplement facts panel, uh, Monascus purpurea, 600 milligrams, that's per capsule. Um, typically, you want to take one to four of these capsules. It really depends on the product and their suggestions. Um, but if you just took two capsules from each one of these products, tested them in the laboratory to determine their lovastatin compound uh, content, what we found is that uh, you know the, these capsules contain anywhere, or two dose, two capsules actually contain anywhere from just half a milligram to over six milligrams. So that's about a 15-fold difference uh, between uh, products. Um, you really need about at least five, preferably 10 or more milligrams of lovastatin to be effective. If you take prescription lovastatin, it's sold generically now. In fact, it's a little less expensive than a number of these products. Um, uh, you're going to take about 10 milligrams, 20 milligrams a, a day. Um, and it's better to divide that dose uh, so you're taking some of the, one in the one dose in the morning and one in the evening um, because it actually may be more effective if you take it in the evening. But again, the concern is that many of these products really don't have enough lovastatin to be effective. And really the reason for that is a legal reason. Um, the FDA um, will go after companies if they claim, if they actually state the amount of lovastatin uh, on their label, and they've done that. Um, because lovastatin is a prescription drug, and so to the FDA, that makes a product, if they claim the amount of lovastatin and not just the amount of red yeast rice, that makes the product an unapproved drug. Um, so as a result, you're not going to find out how much lovastatin is in these products, even though that's the thing you really want from them. But that's really why Consumer Lab has tested them, um, and that's why we test lots of different supplements and, and other healthy foods like olive oils, et cetera, to tell you really what's in them. Um, another concern that we have based on our recent uh, findings is that four of these products are products that we actually tested four years ago as well. Um, you know, other similar, similar product, just a different bottle from four years ago. When we tested it four years ago, we found that many of these products actually um, contained a lot more lovastatin than they do now. Um, we found reductions of over 80% for some. Reductions range from about 30 some odd percent to 80%. So we're finding that the amounts of lovastatin is actually falling um, in red yeast rice products. And that's of concern because if you've been relying on a red yeast rice product to reduce your cholesterol and you notice that you're still doing the same things but your cholesterol is rising, it may simply be because the product has become less potent. 
Um, and we've heard that a number of manufacturers are also actually doing this intentionally um, because they're trying to not run into trouble with the FDA about having lovastatin uh, in their supplements. Personally, um, you know, there's really no point in even selling the product if, if it's going to contain such a small amount of lovastatin. As I mentioned, uh, you know, a couple of these products only had about half a milligram uh, of lovastatin in a two capsule um, serving when again you want to get at least 10 uh, in a two capsule serving. Um, cost wise we also found a big variation in cost. Um, you can get a good daily dose for as little as about 50 cents but for some others you might have to pay um, you know a couple of dollars even up to seven dollars to get the same amount of lovastatin that you would get um, from a product that had a lot of lovastatin in it. Um, other things to be aware of with red yeast rice are that um, um, it can cause some gastrointestinal side effects like um, uh, other statin drugs. Um, it can interact with a number of drugs. Um, you don't want to take it with grapefruit or St. John's wort, uh, as that will affect the uh, lovastatin levels as well. Um, you also, when you take uh, red yeast rice, you need to be aware that like a statin drug, it can potentially um, cause uh, muscle breakdown, uh, which can cause issues with your kidney. Um, even if some, some evidence it can cause some liver effects. Um, you, you will get that with other statin drugs as well. There is a little evidence, uh, fortunately, showing that um, there might be a diminished effect uh, with these adverse effects with taking red yeast rice. You may be less likely to get these problems with, with red yeast rice. And in fact, some people even do better on red yeast rice than on a statin drug, possibly because of the combination of different statin compounds um, that are in red yeast rice while a drug only has a single compound. Uh, so I hope that gives you a little information. Again, we uh, encourage you to you know, subscribe to Consumer Lab online. You'll access this report, all of our reports on everything from CBD oils to uh, multivitamins and other products. We've been doing this since 1999. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, leave a comment where you see the